प्रति बहस क्वेश्चन एक्सपीरियंसर शाइंस द एक्टिविटी दैट आई एम द एक्सपीरियंसर एक्सपीरियंसर आल्सो शाइंस एनीथिंग दैट अपीयर्स एज इट इज द कॉन्शियस प्रेजेंस व्हाट इज द इटरनल स्टेट ऑफ एक्जिस्टेंस विद रिस्पेक्ट टू अबाव हाउ आउट ऑफ थ्री टर्म्स दैट इज एक्सपीरियंसिंग और तुरिया और एक्सपीरियंसर विच विच वन वी कैन कॉल एज द इटरनल स्टेट ऑफ एक्जिस्टेंस दैट इज नाउ प्योरली मैटर ऑफ चॉइस इज एंड प्योरली मैटर ऑफ व्हाट पीपल थिंक अबाउट इट वी कैन कॉल इट एनीथिंग इफ यू वांट but i have called it the experiencing as you know experiencing is the only state just now we said and therefore we sometimes say there is only experiencing we drop the word state also state of what you will say state of what existence is never without experiencing they are the same actually one and the same so state of existence just to calm down the intellect a little bit oh there is something but what is it doing people ask human question they need to know what everybody is doing in in their neighborhood so existence what is it doing experiencing is that is the only state but it is experiencing only i mean as a noun not as a verb the thing is doing anything it is being experiencing that is that in a state according to me at least there can be points of views here opinions Parthiv is saying actually in one video it is said awareness in deep sleep is the eternal state of existence. Yes, yes. There can be more explanations of the state of the existence. What what is what does it mean that look the the states like waking and projecting and whatever they are like bubbles of dream that happen in the background of deep sleep and the deep sleep is simply a state of experiencing only. is we have changed its name with respect to the states of the mind so this view is very good as soon as you are in the duality when the student is has not reached non duality this can be a good explanation because there can be question you see sometimes the existence appear as me in this human in the waking state sometimes it appears in the dream state or projected state or sleep state any other state so what is its fundamental state and this is we are still in the duality here and this answer is satisfactory in that case but when you asked as from the perspective of the experiencer like, like what it is then is it being the experiencer is it doing the experiencing or is busy creating stuff whatever so in that case we always say that they are all equal these all words are equal experiencer experience experiencing existence they are names of one and yes the same thing is in deep sleep and awareness and whatever same some people are going to explain samadhi as deep sleep equal to deep deep sleep there are some kinds of samadhis where the thoughts stop where all the activity stops it looks like it has stopped it is it goes very deep it becomes minute so they will they will say that it is like awareness in deep sleep now i have become pure existence especially in buddhism this notion is there they will say that you need to know the emptiness do this when exercise do this practice try to reach that final level where there is no activity at all and you will witness the true state and advait we say look don't bother about these things <laughs> this is our current state is samadhi the mental activity does nothing at all to the emptiness realize it is not there you don't need to do any practice then so depending on the inclination of the seeker or the student something is told you see different views in different traditions every tradition will assign different states also but finally in the advait we say that they are all illusory states the final state is that which is most natural how to come in that state in this very easy you don't need to come in that any state that's always there and i like this idea a lot very lazy idea isn't it you don't need to do anything to be in the absolute state just no and i agree completely you have must have seen the trend uh, on the path of knowledge or especially in the advait tradition that uh, anything that we try to do or try to be or try to get It's already there. All all that was shown was you know drop your ignorance 
it is already there oh let me do this guru ji no no drop your ignorance it is already there i want to be this i drop your ignorance you are already this same way when the student goes and tells the guru i want to be in this ultimate state and he says drop your ignorance you are already there you must have seen this trend here so i think we can blindly believe now that yes my state is absolute already without counting the <laughs> levels of the mind without count- counting the illusory state that we need to get rid of first to come in turiya or whatever namadi i am very happy being what is right now right here this gives final rest this gives you the biggest peace possible it is now eternal vacation for a seeker enjoy that is why the definition of the final state is so important if you define it wrongly you will try to achieve it and i am pretty sure you will never get it rajit is saying can we say that all states are of the memory only and thus experiencing is not a state and yeah he has given a new twist <laughs> to the story when there is only one state can you even call it a state because states are you know that which change from one to another yes so yes yes experiencing is existence there is no possibility of it changing into another so why call it a state this whole quarrel of states is over now experiencer has no states nothing changes there experiencer is the existence nothing will change there no states you see so saying that there is a final state of being the ultimate is simply metaphorical it, it is much better to say you know rise above the states and you will reach the final what final being so because of the limitation of the language we sometimes say that okay this is the final state stop trying what happens to the world in the absence of the experiencer as you know this is a very tricky question it assumes that the experiencer can be absent it is eternal this is simply an assumption this will never happen so nothing will happen to the world yes the world can disappear like our universe and all it's momentary but the experience never disappears there is another thing the experience only changes so both of them are eternal because they are the existence which is bigger experiencer or the existence those who are still thinking that i have my own private experiencer just like i have my own tv in the house and my own car and my own driver who drives the car i have my own servant experiencer whose job is to experience everything some people think like this and this question is designed to bring out that ignorance never see the experiencer as connected to the body or to the individual it has no relation at all these things are objects so existence is the experiencer not the individual it may appear like this to this ignorant individual <laughs> the ego claims the experiencer also just like it it can claim anything isn't it if it wishes it can claim everything is mine like it can claim the land as mine isn't it so it can as well say the air is mine and it can say the rain is mine the cloud and the sky above my land is also mine like the countries claim their air space isn't it <laughs> that the space above my land is mine and the, there is no end of stupidity of the ego it can claim the experiencer or the existence as me and myself it's not like this at all there is no me which actions are best for a seeker you see the no action is recommended for the experiencer don't try to do try to be the seeker means a human being isn't it experiencer is not seeking the human will need to do some actions the seeker needs to decide you see nobody else who can say whose actions are right whose are wrong whose actions are best whose are worst this is a question in ethics and aesthetics morality that which are abandoned is not mine do the necessary and throw it out it's not mine if you assume it is mine then every action is bad so a seeker should should not do anything else except progress on the path that is the best action 